Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Let's start on the four hour time frame. The chart um, is unchanged here. The overall structure that we've been looking at um, hasn't really changed for months. Of course, there have been some changes, adjustments um, in the microstructures, but overall the idea that we are dealing here with a five wave move to the upside in possibly an ending diagonal that's unchanged and hasn't changed in months. So also here the support area that we have on the chart hasn't really changed in many, many weeks. Um, not since the last high was formed in the middle of, no, it was actually end of December actually. Okay, so it was the 25th, 26th of December when the price has topped. That's when we last adjusted support. That's um, That has to be done because Whenever the chart makes a new high, for example, in the third wave, obviously the support area for the wave four has to change because the support levels and Fibonacci retracements are calculated based on percentages. And based on percentages, that means I can really only uh, lock it once a top has been confirmed in the third wave. So the overall forecast here on this change on this chart is that a wave one obviously form two, three, that means Going forward, a wave four should complete at some point with a wave five still to come. So we are still watching for one more high on this chart, possibly to $200 and beyond. What is a little bit unclear at the moment, and it's just the uncertainty we have to deal with, is if the third wave already peaked or if we get one more high in the third wave. The market makes it quite difficult to determine that at the moment. Um, it's technically still possible one more high. So I don't want to take that possibility off the chart. Um, this would be here, yeah. Another high into the region of $135, $147 maybe, maybe even $173. And then a wave four should start or if the wave four, maybe it started already. So we are going to talk about the microstructure because these are the two projections that we have on the larger time frame. Um, and then we have to dive into the microstructure to figure out or to work out and to understand which of these two is currently unfolding. Is it that a third wave is still unfolding or is the fourth wave already confirmed? The major, the larger fourth wave. Um, important is, however, that the support levels are quite clear at the moment. So we have support at $47. That's really the critical support. Below that level, probabilities for a fifth wave to the upside are going to reduce significantly. But then we have $59.41 and $79.34, which is the nearest support. Um, ideally, in any way for the 38.2 retracement level is sort of the, the desired support. It's the Fibonacci level that in most cases is tested. Not always, you know, we talk about probabilistic markets here. Markets are non-linear. And for example, if the fourth wave doesn't form an ABC structure, but a triangle, we may never see those lower levels, but it is too early to confirm basically a triangle. Okay, so we need a few more uh, data points for that. But at the moment when a correction starts, I typically start by tracking a simple ABC structure. These can often change and that's just the nature of corrections. It's just what they do. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Okay, so um, corrections have more than, I mean, there are more than 12 or 13 corrective patterns in Elliott Wave and Obviously, you cannot say in advance which one will unfold because the market often doesn't know itself. So that's why in corrections, it's so important to remain um, focused on the support levels and the bigger picture and then to get positioned for the next run to the upside, for example. Okay, so just strategically speaking. Now, let's take a look at the smaller time frame to figure out the micro counts. If anything changed, I can already tell you nothing actually changed since yesterday's update. The only thing that happened on the chart was that the market um, continued to trend downward a little bit more. But the trend line that I shared with you in the last update remained, uh, well, it's, it's not broken. So that's still intact. The market, in fact, um, tested it and shows the first positive reaction to it. The both yellow counts and white counts remain valid and reasonable interpretations. So in the yellow scenario, the wave four has already started, the main wave four. By the way, it should probably, I mean, I would like it to take at least a month, maybe a little longer. Why? Because in crypto, a wave four and a wave two often have the same length and the wave two actually unfolded over a period of two months, July, August, September. 
Um, and this only so far, it's only two weeks so far, okay? So that means ideally a little longer. I mean, it doesn't need to be the same length as the wave two in duration, this larger degree fourth wave of the same wave degree. But, you know, sort of at least it should be significant in, in size or at least the price should pull back into support to, to, to determine this is the larger degree fourth wave. Um, so yeah, with regards to the larger degree fourth wave, I think it should extend a little longer, but the white count suggests obviously that another high is possible. It's just still something we have to consider. Doesn't mean it would be a great trade setup to speculate for another extension because I don't really see a great trade setup um, until the market has cl clarified its intentions, unless you trade trend lines or whatever. But you know, I can only share with you at this stage, it is a likely possibility that one more high is unfolding. Again, I would still like to see it, to be honest, but that wave four in white has grown in size. And I mean, one reasonable way to still track the white count is with, with the wave four low in place last week on Wednesday. Then we have here an ABC flat in the A wave of wave um, five, basically. Then we should still get a B and C. So it's it's a very messy structure. The yellow count would also possibly create a larger B wave before coming down in wave C. So that means we can watch for one important aspect on this chart to determine which of these two is unfolding. That's very important. Both are possible right now. You sometimes get these situations. I mean, you just see it everywhere on crypto Twitter. Nobody really knows what's going on. Everybody's like, oh, this is going to happen. That is going to happen. The market itself hasn't clarified its intentions. It doesn't really know itself what it wants to do. So, but however, as long as pullbacks are corrective in nature, another high is a reasonable expectation. So we have to at least consider it. Yeah. Um, as soon as we see a first impulse to the downside, possibly after this yellow B wave has been put in place, well, then we can start to lean quite strongly towards the yellow count. Basically, how I see the yellow count ideally would be as follows, A wave down, B wave up, and then obviously the C wave is a five wave move. As soon as we see this wave one complete, which should be a five wave move down, and a wave two corrective rally, so one, two, this would be a potential short trade setup. And when we see that, you know, it's like waiting, tracking the waves until we have a setup. Um, that could be a reasonable short trade setup with a stop above the B wave high. If it's clear, waves are not always clear. So that's one scenario that I see. Okay. I mean, the whole, the idea is not to use this as a crystal ball, but to track the structures to identify reasonable and clear trade setups. Yeah. Too many people use that as crystal ball. It's not, it's that, that's, it's not that, it's not that far away from that, especially in corrections. Um, even though of course, Elliott wave has predictive powers, but the, the main idea is to identify, um, tradable setups with clear parameters. And at the moment there is nothing clear there. Um, so we need to wait until we see some clarity. Well, the other idea is let's assume in the yellow, in the white count, we should see this larger ABC structure. If we see another rally, then a corrective pullback, that could be a setup. So not an impulse down, not a five wave move down, but a three wave move down. That could be a setup for the C wave higher. So at the moment, really probability is fairly balanced. I think it would still look better with one more high, but that situation is dynamic. And if this correction takes much longer, it's not going to look much better with one more high because then it's quite messy up here. So I'll keep you updated anyway. Um, but the overall assumption hasn't changed in, in as I said, in months. And one more high is still um, expected after this wave four completes, which however could take a while to complete. That's my update about Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.